been we have been here at Disney opinion based to Disney Lord and me. Bonjour, yeah. Yeah, you're just setting up very for today's show. I'm getting you some images ready to cross with them. Yeah. So we are continuing on about another major de 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 development in that's coming in the redevelopment of Disney Village. And that is another iconic restaurant uh, is going. Yep. On the last show, we talked about Cafe Mickey and our thoughts on that. Another big staple is going to be going from Disney Village, and that is, wait for it, Planet Hollywood. Oh, no. Oh. But that's such a well-known brand, because... I know, because because Play Hollywood, it's, it's not just a restaurant in Disney Village. It's an actual brand. There are loads. In fact, let me bring it up. Yeah. Um. There are quite a few Planet Hollywoods around the world. Well, maybe this have a go in there. Well, yeah, it's loads. You've got um. Let me give me those locations. Yeah. So, you've got them in Vegas, you've got them in LA, you've got them at Walt Disney World in Florida. Um, there's even one in Malta and Qatar. <gasps> They're quite recent though. Mm -hmm. um, you've got Disneyland Paris. Uh, is one which was the first planet I would I think it was probably ba the ba the Vegas one wow it, yeah um it's also in some other resorts so like um um got the Las Vegas one resort and casino Costa Rica yeah it's it was, it's all over, it's all over, all over the world. Um, I think there might even be one in London. Is it? I'm not too sure. Well, you, have, you could find out, we can, we can maybe go. Now that Paris is, is closing down. Yeah, this was a big, 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 big shock because it's so iconic. You know how the last show we talked about how Cafe Mickey is so iconic and it's the, sort of how, the first thing you see when you go in Disney Village? Well, literally, you cannot stop but look be, but and look at Plight Hollywood and be in awe and amazed at it. It is absolutely stunning. It's quite brilliant. Look, I mean, the shape of it as well, the design, the colour scheme in that. I know you're not really a big fan of blue, but it's alright. It's better than green. Yeah, well, yeah. Blue, I can tolerate. Green. <laughs> well, okay. It's, I, I think, oh, 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 that's so gorgeous. I know, it's absolutely... And the, stair, the staircase. I know, it's really, we've got... Brilliant, yeah, it's absolutely stunning, isn't that? Just to go up that, that is absolutely amazing. I would love to go, go up that. Mm. But I've, I always been, though, with, with, with the Empire High Woods elsewhere in the world, I always think you've got to be rich box to go in them. <laughs> yeah. I bet some dress. I bet, I bet it'd be a dress code and all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no kids allowed. Oh no way, that's Hilton. <laughs> but it's absolutely. But on the outside, it's absolutely got gorgeous and stunning. Um, have we got any interior to look at? Or, or stuff? You can find. I can find. You can find find some. That. that but yeah but the outside is so absolutely gorgeous and stunning and it's so it is so iconic you literally cannot just look at that and be in absolute awe and be amazed by it yeah <laughs> well we're about to discover if it is pricey there you go I've got some interiors for you Ooh. Let's come back to them. Okay, pause that for a sec. Because on the last show, we did go through Cafe Mickey's menu. We're going to do the set. We're going to do the same now. So I park my thoughts on interior for Okay. Just like I park my thoughts on the USP for Cafe Mickey. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Right. So yes, yeah, so we're going to take you through the menu now. So apologies to the bands if you've not had your tea yet. 
Uh, at least we watched this time, the last one we didn't do it. <laughs> we just went straight in. <laughs> right. Let's go. So we start. Let's go. Let's go. So we start with your appetizers. <laughs> so I'll say what, what, the, what the product is. You give the description to the one there. It's the one there. Right, go. Yeah, yeah, go. Okay, right, let's go. So, your appetizers. Appetite, appet oh, okay, tongue tied. Appetizers. You've got bruschetta. Oh, otherwise, you know what bruschetta is. Oh, can you buy your Miranda? Yeah. Bruschetta, 850 euros. Mickey, answer my lifelong prayers. What's bruschetta? It's diced Roma tomatoes blending basil infused olive oil accompanied by tomato, ali, and toasted garlic bread. You can toast garlic bread? How have I not known that? I bet it probably wouldn't taste as uh, Buffalo wings, 8 90 euros. Golden fries wings tossed in our signature wing sauce with celery and carrot sticks, served with blue cheese dressing. World famous chicken crunch, 8 90 euros. Tender strips of juicy chicken breast with a crunchy sweet coating served with creme like mustard sauce. Clear skins, 8 90 euros. Basically, crispy skins, bro, with bacon and mixed cheese, served with sour cream and pico de gallo. Buffalo tenders, 8 90 euros. Chicken tenders tossed in our signature wing sauce, sauce with dairy and carrot sticks, served with blue cheese dressing, so similar to the buffalo wings. Texas tostadas, 8 90 euros. Crispy mini tortillas topped with barbecue chicken, salt cheese, onions, and mixed cheeses with Guacamole, sour cream, and pico de gelato, a southern western favourite. Nacho, 6 90 euros. Blackened shrimp, 11 75 euros. They are marinated jumbo shrimp, blackened and served with crele mustard sauce. And by the BIP plus platter, which costs you 8 50 euros. What's the BIP platter? Chicken crunch, buffalo wings, Texas tostadas, and spirit dip, ideal to share. Move on to your salads, again quite pricey. So chicken Caesar salad fourteen ninety. Grilled chicken, crisp romaine, planet Hollywood orange traditional Caesar dressing and cheese. Cobb salad, fourteen fifty euros. What's a cob salad, Mickey? It's chipper nard of romaine lettuce with tomatoes, cheese, smoked turkey breast, hickory smoked bacon, fresh avocado. I'm literally looking at this thinking that's you would not find that as a salad. That's too much meat, isn't it? Yeah. Fresh avocado, chopped eggs, tossed with a tangy Russian dressing. Southwestern salad, 1490 euros. Grilled lime marinated chicken, corn, cheese, diced tomatoes, tortilla strips, and mixed greens, tossed with a lime serrato dressing, and drizzled with a peanut nut vinaigrette. And finally, chicken and ranch wedge salad, cost you 1450 euros. Romain hearts with grilled chicken, basil infused, tomato, smoked bacon, blue cheese, and creamy ranch dressing. It's sandwiches and burgers, so here we go. My area now. <laughs> Let's see if fancy would fancy area of them. So we've got the mushroom onion cheeseburger, 15 90 euros. A sauteed fresh mushrooms and onions laid on top of our classic burger complete with cheese. No. no. Okay, this next one might be, might be for you. The BB, ah, uh, the BBQ bacon cheeseburger, fifteen ninety euros. A classic burger fish with hickory smoked bacon, tangy sweet barbecue sauce, and cheese. Or go for your classic cheeseburger. Yeah, which will cost you fifteen fifty euros. That's a char grilled cheese for choice with your favourite cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, and pickle on your our fresh baked sandwich. Me bum. Got the Philly cheese steak sandwich, fifteen ninety euro. That is shaved beef and fried onions topped with cheese with a freshly baked sub roll. Barbecue chicken burger, fifteen ninety euros. Grilled chicken, bacon, cheese, and barbecue sauce. Turkey club, fifteen fifty euros. Smoked turkey breast, hickory smoked bacon, cheese, lettuce, tomato, and mayo on toasted bread. And your veggie burger, fifteen euros. Move <laughs> on there. Hmm. Right, now we get to the pricey section, we get to the grill special. Yeah, the grill specialities. Rump steak. 
Don't! Don't! Oh, come on! I know. Dirty animals. They're not romping the steaks, honestly. Rump steak, 2150 euros. Mickey, up to you. Rump steak, char grill to order, served with french fries and seasonal vegetables. BBQ pork ribs, 2290 euros. Tender hickory smoked St. Louis style smothered with our tangy sweet barbecue sauce, served with french fries. Sizzling fajitas, 2290 euros. Your choice! Oh, yes, your choice! Of char grilled chicken or beef. If you had to choose, what would you go for chicken? So with sizzling onions, red and green peppers, mixed cheeses, flour, tortillas and Mexican feast of rice. Grilled salmon, 99. You can grill salmon? Yeah. 99 euros. Salmon fillet glazed with maple butter, served with mashed potatoes and seasonal vegetables. Blackened swordfish, 29 euros. Black and sore fish are the best of jasmine rice with seasonal vegetables and topped with pineapple salsa. Roasted half chicken, 29 euros. Yeah, so it's roasted half chicken with plant hardwood's own seasoning and served with potatoes and seasonal vegetables. Rebuy re steak, 24.50. The priciest one on this, dip, on this part of the menu It's an entrecote grilled to your liking, served with fries and vegetables. We've got your side orders. So, Caesar salad for 90 euros, French fries 295 euros, vegetables 295 euros, Mexican fiesta rice 350 euros, garlic glazed breadsticks 490 euros, baked potato 295 euros. Desserts, let's see if you've got any to like. Or a half. Yeah, bits on the bottom half. What we got it, top to bottom. <laughs> right. White chocolate bread pudding 750 euros. Homemade white chocolate bread pudding served with warm, served warm, sorry, with vanilla ice cream and bourbon sauce. Banana split creme brulee, 940 euros. Creamy egg custard. Sorry, I'm not, I just made creme brulee sound sexy. <laughs> Who do you think you are, Nigel Lawson? No, because Nigel Lawson does food porn. <laughs> <laughs> I was just playing with a fancy bark voice. <laughs> Sorry. It's a creamy egg custard caramelised and topped with banana, strawberry, chocolate milk ice creams, whipped cream and cherries. Strawberry cheese cake, 750 euros. Deliciously creamy cheesecake served with strawberry sauce and topped with fresh strawberries and whipped cream. I've had, I've had a go at making a cheesecake once. Did you? Yeah, in school. How'd it go? It ended very badly. <laughs> but the problem was, they asked you, got, you've got to do a healthy dessert. I was like, excuse me, healthy desserts do not go together. <laughs> did you tell your teacher that? I don't think I did, because I did, because that would be sass. <laughs> but yeah, so I thought, well, do cheesecake. Um, so did it, it, not, it, did, it did not end well. No, it did not end well. It ended up being like a milky milk, a milky milk tray. It did not taste well. Mm. Right. Oh, this one's for me. Double chocolate brownie. That's what I'd order. We had double help and some ice creams as well. Yeah, double chocolate brownie. No 40 euros. Whoa, double chocolate brownie with chocolate vanilla ice cream and whipped cream. Two, please. <laughs> Ice cream, five, bit, step, five, seven euro. Yes, your choice of chocolate, white chocolate. What's the, what's the white chocolate ice cream? Vanilla or strawberry? What's white chocolate? Look at this tablet. Because I've had, I've had vanilla. Which is always my go-to in ice cream. <laughs> I've had a bad strawberry, which I loved when I was a kid, and, and I have and I have had chocolate ice cream as well. But I don't tend to really go for that. Like you've got to be moved to have chocolate ice cream. But white chocolate ice cream, never heard of it. Go look it, look it up. There's one sec. Let's look it up. Oh there, oh there we go. There it is. Mm. It looks like vanilla. Mm. 
Still not been in there. Anyway. And finally, Sorbet's 60 euros. Lemon or Raspberry. Do we need to go through this bit? Yeah, because now we get to the cocktails. Um, I'm not I'm not an alcoholic, don't do alcohol, but uh, in case you have a word fancied, let's go through them. Oh, may as well. Have you ever wondered what goes into cocktails? No! Why, well, you're about to get education! Go, you can go for right. The Blue Lagoon. This cool refreshing blend of vodka, blue curcan and lemonade will take you to a tropical island. How many of these are going to get vodka? Probably a lot of them. The Comet. Rum, vodka, blackberry liquor, the blend of lemon, pineapple and cranberry juice. Best of all, you get to keep the glass. Oh, here's a, here's a good one. Here's a good one. Indecent proposal. What's an indecent proposal? It's the best margarita money can buy. Tequila, Grand Marina, Quattro, and a perfect balance of citrus juices. So, orange, lemon. Yeah. If we had to thought right, when we go through them, I'm going to force you to pick one. Oh. <gasps> If you were to maybe to my first cocktail, yeah, I'm going to force you. Right, well, that's in the lead so far. <laughs> oh, this is not a quite nice one. Sweet death becomes her. You'll love the magical effects of rums or twists together with pineapple juice. So basically, it's different types of rum with pineapple juice. We've got the Terminator. A cyborg mixture of vodka, rum, gin, triple sec, triple, triple what? Sec, sec, triple sec. Try saying that. Try saying that. I've had one too many terminators. Triple. It's triple sec. Oh, say nothing. Just please, dirty animals. Triple sec. Yeah, I know. I know. Karua and lemon splashed. Excuse me. Oh. With cranberry, then topped with beer. This one will leave you saying, I'll be back. Filthy. That's the filthiest one so far. Right, we've got the Green Miles next. Green Miles. Madiri, Malibu, banana liquor, pineapple juice, sweet and sour mix, and Sprite. What, as in Sprite the fizzy drink? Mmm, probably not. You could maybe! Sprite's horrible. You could maybe, but mm, probably not. Probably, probably alcoholic Sprite. Uh, okay. The Mexican. Ah, uh, tequila! Madiri and sweet and sour mix served in a martini glass. A clockwork orange. Absolute mandarin, orange juice and Sprite. Blade. Vodka, tomorrow juice, served with its sauces and served in a martini glass. Cool Runnings. This is a blend of tropical juices and rums, all twisted together with pineapple juice. Unbreakable. Ooh, what's in an unbreakable? Absolute Mandarin, Midori, Pineapple and Orange Juice and Grandolin. The last one is the Scorpion Sting. Vodka, Rum, Southern Comfort, Medini, Amaretto and Triple Sec! With Sweet and Sour Mix and Cranberry Juice and Sprite. Okay, okay. Right, so if I... Right, so if we were to go to Pirate Hollywood now, and I force you to pick one of those, your first ever taste of vodka, of a cocktail, which would you go for? Pfft. 
I probably would go for the um, indecent proposal because that, that they just stood stood out. It's, it's so it's so funny. It makes me all those times on Corey when we've had some weird proposals happen. Do you do you go for an indecent proposal? Yeah, I think the clockwork orange would probably be more me because it's got orange juice, and of course that's my always go to juice. But um, I'd be, I would be tempted to go. The, I would go with the indecent proposal. Okay, well, we've got. Okay, right. Let's move on to some specialty coffees. Yes. So, breathless, which is Amarato hazelnut liqueur coffee and whipped cream. Far away, whiskey, Kalua, hazelnut liqueur coffee and whipped cream, and to die for, hot chocolate blended with peppermint and hazelnut liqueur with whipped cream. And there you go. That's it. So, whoo. Yeah, so there we go. Education there. Again, like, let's go like with Cafe Mickey. There are some things that, that would tempt me, but I'm not too sure. Well, would you have liked to have gone in? I would love to have gone in to see what it's like inside. Yeah, because you, we all know we all know what Planet Horror looks like on the outside, but if, like me, you've never really got in on the inside, you're kind of wondering, well, what... what what is it? What's it like? So I would like to have gone in the, the, just the inside to look, but yeah. This always looks stunning. You know, the last show you talked about how Cap Mickey looked great lit, uh, at night. This is ideal in light because the illumination comes to life. It's just absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. It brings, it just elevates the colours just that that little bit more. It really, it really does. The out, I think the outside has to. You know, we don't know much about the inside. The outside just tops the inside. Yeah. So sadly, this is going as part of the major overhaul and redevelopment um, for Disney Village, which is such, a, which is a real, real shame. All we know is it's going. Yeah, because whereas with Cafe Mickey, we kn we know there's something coming to replace it. We actually don't know anything about. What's going to happen to Planet Hollywood after it go goes? Yeah, I mean, you'd have to put something in there. Oh yeah, you'd have, you'd have. Absolutely, I, I, I think it's going to get it would be replaced by something. But I'm not too sure what. Well, maybe that could be an idea for a new opinion for another opinion village. What could we replace Cap Planet Hollywood with? Because Cafe Vicky, we know what's going to go replace that. Play Hollow, we, we don't really know. So maybe that could be an idea for the pin bitch before four the years out. What's going to replace Play Hollow? What could we what could we come up with for Play Hollywood? Yeah, get your get your get your get your, get your cogs turning. We can maybe do that. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah. So so yeah, so, it, so it's going in January next year. So you really um. Do not have long left to experience uh, Planet Hollywood before it's going. Have we got a definitive date? We have got a definitive date. It's the 7th of January 2023. Planet Hollywood will close its doors forever. So you have not really got got long left to experience Planet Hollywood. If you're thinking of going before January the 7th, 2023... Um, that's how you got the yeah. yeah. Um so it is a real so yeah, so there you go. So you do not have long uh, left. So if you think you're going at any point in twenty twenty two, do it now and you can get one last stop at Playa Hollywood. Because it, it will be going, it's closing its doors on January the seventh, twenty twenty three. Uh, as part of the Ongoing rede rede redevelopment that's going to be happening in Disney Beach. Just, just try and make it, you know, better. Yeah, because Disney Beach has always been something that you that you look at and think, well, there's always room to improve it. Yeah. And you always would hope that one day I will come back to it and make it better and sprint up a bit. And now that, that day has arrived. But of course, it comes at the expense of two round-loved, iconic, iconic restaurants, and which have really helped to make Disney Village stand up. Yeah! Stand up, because that 
Because, like I said, when you ask you to think of what I think about this video, the first thing I think of is always going to be Captain Mickey. That stood up for me the most. Yeah. This will also probably stand to a lot of people as well. If I was to go out uh, into, into, into town, into Man in, in, in Manchester, Man the Yard, and do a box pop and ask you, think of the, what you to ask you what you think of me when I say Ditty Bitch, chances are a lot of my samples would say Captain Mickey, and chances are a lot of my other samples would say Well, I would. Yeah, because they've been two big iconic attractions for the ages, and the fact they've managed to last so long is absolutely stunning and beautiful it's absolutely amazing and it's just been so iconic restaurants it's just been fun it is a real shame to see them go but of course you know that's what happens because disneyland is never complete yes as walt said although you don't really see disneyland getting any major stuff it happens does it it's always the other five parks yes they get yes there yeah, it's all yeah whereas disneyland kind of has to sort of just be timeless, but maybe that gives it its USP over some of the others. I suppose the way, yeah. Uh, did I ask you whether or not you wanted to go? You you did ask would I ever want to go on one and I, did, I did, did say, yeah, I would have loved to have gone in. Just see what it's like on the inside, because like I said, we don't we don't really have an idea what it's like on the inside. We haven't really managed to find any pictures on the top of it to show you, but it's just really more the exterior, which is absolutely stunning. The shape like it is a planet is absolutely brilliant. Well, maybe we need to see where where the closest planet Howard is to us in the world, and maybe go in there and try and compare that and think of, oh, maybe this is what it would be like if we were at Disney Village and Disneyland Paris. I bet you this one. Do you want to quickly look it up? Before we go. Yeah, we could do that. I think there is. Well, do you want to give your final thoughts? Yeah, so you, you want to go to the mic? Yeah. Yeah, so what, some of my final thoughts. Yeah, so your final thoughts on Planet Hollywood before we go? Yeah. My sort of thoughts on Planet Hollywood, I think it's an absolutely stunning restaurant. And on the outside, it is absolutely go gorgeous. Um, I think it's just so iconic. It's just an iconic, iconic building. And to make it look like because that is such a because that is the logo that's the business that is the, that is the business logo so it's absolutely absolutely stunning um and amazing to, thing to go into um it's absolutely gorgeous um i think it's, it, it's it looks really uh amazing thing and the color scheme that for me is what sort of makes it work work yeah, that the color, the skirt, the color scheme for me is what makes it stand out. That's what sort of makes it stand out and makes it like feel like none, no other planet Hollywood out there. So you kind of feel like it's like a unique, unique. We 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 kind of got like a Wob Kai. Yeah, I feel like we've, I feel like we've got like a Wob Kai. Like a Wob Kai, it's absolutely free. He found out there is one in London. Ah! There is. There is a Planet Hollywood in. There is a Planet Hollywood in London. Just looking to that right, yeah, but ah. Uh, well, there was one in London. Whether it's not it's still there or not. Oh, God. Whether it's not it's still there, though, I don't know, but uh Well, it's either you or Corbacus. <laughs> if you ever, ever go to Broadway, like Cerise, so what's the key to keep doing? You have to go and basically play over that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so what are your final thoughts? I'll bring let you come back in. Uh, I think my final thoughts has got to be how iconic that building. It's just more the building, really. It's just I think it's so iconic. Well, you see, it looks like well, like high. It, it sort of makes you feel like you're not just going to another typical restaurant. It feels like you're about to go into an experience. Yeah, you are about to. You know, you, you know, you go just go go there to get some food. 
it feels like because it, it, you are going to go on experience, particularly that staircase. That's brilliant! That's uh, iconic. It just makes you feel like you're a VIP bear. It's like what you probably would do if you would go out on the red carpet afterwards. It's just absolutely good and flawless. I mean, absolutely brilliant. Um, farewell. Yes, we are now leaving Planet Hollywood. Oh, I know. I know. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. That's what we've got time for. If you've loved the show, do click the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the chat, correct me, you do click the subscribe button. And then that way you'll never miss a single when you co to try and keep rest of this on me. Until next time, also for us to say is mercy to our guard, just not to attack. Au revoir. <laughs>